Veolia's High Temperature Fluid Bed Incinerator, a pre-drying and thermal oxidation system incorporating value-engineered design elements to provide the resource recovery and electrical project with the simplest and operationally most efficient process. We begin our tour with the pre-drying system, where, prior to thermal oxidation, Dewatered sludge is dried. The dryer is designed to increase the sludge dryness to achieve thermal oxidation without the need for auxiliary fuel. Moisture-laden vapor from the dryer passes through a scrubber-type condenser where the vapor is cooled and the vapor condensate is removed and sent to the head of a plant. The pre-dried sludge is then transferred from the dryer by a positive displacement dual piston pump to the fluid bed reactor, where it's thermally oxidized for complete destruction of all volatile matter. The HTFB incinerator reactor incorporates a refractory arch and refractory lined wind box for longer life and higher resistance to thermal stress. With the refractory arch design, a preheat burner can be installed in the wind box to facilitate faster startups effectively decreasing cold startup time in half. The fully expanded sand bed design allows for water expansion in the reactor. The bed gas velocity is designed at 3 feet per second, high enough to provide good fluidization but low enough to avoid abrasion. The teardrop shape expanded freeboard design with 2.1 feet per second gas velocity allows the hot gas velocity to further decrease, eliminating sand loss from entrainment. Process air for the thermal oxidation system is supplied by either a multi-stage centrifugal blower or a high-efficiency turbo blower. Flue gas exiting the reactor is treated at the first stage of air pollution control with ammonia ejection through a selective non-catalytic reduction type process to reduce nitrogen oxides. Hot flue gas from the reactor first passes through the thermal oil economizer for energy recovery. Enough heat is recovered from flue gas via the circulating thermal oil to thermally support the thermal system. Ash-laden flue gas exiting the economizer travels to the second stage of air pollution control, the quencher scrubber, where particulate matter, heavy metals, and gaseous pollutants are removed. The wet electrostatic precipitator, or wet ESP, is designed to be stackable and placed on top of the scrubber to further remove particulate matter and heavy metals to meet the new EPA MAC 129 requirements. Treated flue gas from the wet ESP travels to the induced draft fan, which provides a system with a push-pull pressure design. Flue gas from the wet ESP travels to the demister for additional moisture removal. It then travels to the coil heat exchanger, where the circulating thermal oil tube side raises the temperature of the flue gas shell side an additional 250 degrees Fahrenheit to reheat the flue gas upstream of the mercury removal system. The mercury and deoxidants removal systems consist of a combisorbent absorber designed with two granulated activated carbon layers for the removal of both ionic and elemental mercury. The final stage of air pollution control. Once the flue gas exits the absorber, it's fully treated for all regulatory contaminants and it's sent to the stack for final release to the atmosphere. The HTFB incinerator is a highly efficient, safe, and green technology incorporating energy recovery as the final method for sustainable sludge disposal.